it's a type of multiplication. It actually uses a multiplication symbol, and its product, the, the end result, is another vector, unlike uh, the scalar product, which, of course, gives you a, a resultant scalar. So this resultant vector uh, is important for several reasons, uh, one of them being it creates a vector which is perpendicular to both uh, the given vectors A and B. So we'll explore some of the properties a little bit later, but first of all, from a practical sense, how do we calculate the vector product? If we have two vectors in component form, so we've got uh, vector A given by its components A1, A2, and A3, and vector B given by its components B1, B2, and B3. Uh, the, the vector product is actually uh, it's something that you may well have seen before, hopefully it's familiar. Uh, it's the uh, determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. And normally when we do matrix work, the all nine uh, elements are numbers. But sometimes there's a variable to work out. But in this case here, uh, you notice that the first row is the uh, unit vectors i, j, and k, and they will always stay there. The second row of the matrix is the first vector that we're stating in our vector product, and that's really important. And the bottom row is the second vector that we're using in our vector product. And from there, we fill out the numbers for all the A and B uh, elements, and we calculate the vector product. Now, uh, you may there are several ways to calculate the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. Uh, the best way for this one is a method where you're actually just um, splitting it up into uh, the smaller determinants, and that's the method I'm going to use, um, where you're actually taking uh, out row i and saying it's a2, a3, b2, and b3 multiplied by i, and so on. Okay, so that's the form I'm going to use in this example here. So in example three, uh, we've got two uh, vectors here. A is i plus 3j minus 2k, or 1, 3, negative 2, and b is 3i minus j plus k. And we're asked to do two things, find the cross product a cross b, and then b cross a, the, the other way around. Um, so let's have a look at calculating a cross b. We're going to create a 3 by 3 matrix, and we've got our uh, parallel lines to this, uh, show that we're trying to find the determinant. We always populate it with i, j, and k. Then I've got vector a, which is 1, 3, negative 2. And then vector b, which is 3, negative 1, 1. So I'm going to simplify this. Now, you might want to break it up into smaller parts if it helps you. I'll do that one time. Um, so in the first 2 by 2 matrix, we would have uh, this set here. We would have 3, negative 2, negative 1, and 1. In the second uh, 2 by 2 matrix, we'll miss out column J. So we've got 1, negative 2, 3, and 1. And in the third one, we'll miss out column K. So we've got 1, 3, 3, negative 1. So if it helps you to write it out, like that, then do so. I tend not to. I just go straight into uh, working it out from the 3 by 3 matrix, but that's just my method. So I would do something like this. There's i minus bracket and j plus a bracket and k. And in the bracket, first bracket, we've got uh, those products here. 3 times 1 is 3 minus negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. So we've got 3 minus 2. In the second one, we're going to use, uh, I'll just highlight that one, those four here. So we've got 1 times 1 is 1, uh, minus negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. That becomes plus 6. And for the last one, uh, we're going to use uh, these ones here. Okay. Uh, we're going to use 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, minus 3 times 3 is 9. I'm kind of rushing through that part. If you if you don't know how to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, uh, you can go into the matrices topic and learn how to do that. But I'm kind of assuming that this is familiar to you. 
Um, so we've got 3 minus 2 is 1i, minus 7j, and then minus 10k. In other words, a cross b is equal to, in component form, 1, negative 7, and negative 10. And that's the vector product. That vector, 1, negative 7, negative 10, is a vector which is perpendicular to both vectors a and b. Okay, we can go ahead and find b cross a. Uh, just out of interest, we're going to use the same two vectors, so that's obviously it's going to be connected. We've got i, j, k, but this time we've got 3, negative 1, 1, and we've got 1, 3, negative 2. So we've got vectors a and b swap round, so that when we actually work out... Oops, we've got a minus sign to go in there. So... When we work it out this time, missing out uh, column I, we have 2, minus 3. Missing out column J, we've got negative 6, minus 1. Missing out column K, we've got 9, minus negative 1. And when we do that, we get negative 1I. And then we've got minus negative 7 becomes plus 7J. And then we've got plus 10K. In other words, B cross A could be represented as negative 1, 7, 10. Compared, of course, to A cross B, which we've already worked out as 1, negative 7, negative 10, then we can come across a really important property, which is that... B cross A is a negative of A cross B. Effectively, they represent uh, the same uh, line in space, uh, or the same vector, uh, but one is in the opposite direction. Okay, So that's the first uh, calculation of a vector product. There's some more examples just to practice doing that and to see what we can uh, do to play around with it. So you can have a look at those too.